Yo, that had to be the worst, the worst, worst, worst. Oh, look. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Deadly Hustle, everybody. Keeping it moving and grooving, man. I'm just now leaving Odessa. You guys, dealer only auto auction. Just knocked out two videos for y'all, man. So them joints will be dropping before this video. Um, so you guys make sure, if you haven't watched those videos, to check those out. If you like the way I did those last two videos, um, you guys let me know where I did the startups on one video, then I did the uh, test drives on the uh, second video. Um, I actually enjoy doing it that way. Um, you guys let me know if you liked it or not. Um, also, I gotta give you guys some updates, man. Um, right now, you guys, I'm on my way out to, let me just tell you about the cars that we just had problems with. Um, I mentioned the first one, which is the 2000 Buchla Sabre. It's getting ready to sell it. Then the wear pads on the brakes um, started going. Um, and then so they started squeaking. Person ended up not buying the 2000 Buchla Sabre. So now I'm on my way out to O'Reilly and then I'm gonna pick up these uh, brakes and rotors. Have one of my mechanics, which is out at the storage, fix that. Meet up with Tremaine there. Let's talk about the 2012 Chevy Cruze. The last vlog video that you guys saw, I basically picked it up from detail. It looked 10 times better, or I would say three times better really, um, than what it looked like um, the first time we picked it up from detail. Um, ended up finishing the video. I thought we were ready to, you know, sell the thing. Then the RPM start going up and down, up and down. Basically, codes on the car is for two, uh, two codes are for the O2 sensor, um, one code for the mass airflow sensor. So I'm hoping that the big job that Chris just did on the car, that maybe he forgot to plug up something or, you know, something stupid. That way it doesn't cost me any money. Um, but, um, you know, worst case scenario, then we got a sensor or two to replace. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just really, really hoping that we can finally get that Chevy Cruze um, up for sale. Obviously, we got some lists, a list that I just made um, from doing the auction walk around and test rides and all that. So hopefully we get a couple of those cars. Got bought two cars today as well, y'all. I bought a Lincoln. I'm not telling you guys what cars I got yet because I want you guys to watch the videos when I pick them up because I'm excited about these ones. I got a Buick. Um, both are like between 07 and 2012. So we got some, some newer cars, a little bit, right? Um, but they're nicer cars and um, they're going to make blue faces for sure. Like stacks of blue faces, not just a little bit of blue faces, but stacks of blue faces. So we're going to get that taken care of. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, throughout, you know, me having these hiccups with these cars right now, um, with the mechanics and all that stuff, I'm still pushing forward. I'm still trying to get the product out there. I'm still buying the cars um, because at the end of the day, it's all about getting these things ready. Um, for busy season. So um, I'm expecting for things to slow down for the next couple of months. Um, so we will see how, you know, things go um, when it, uh, shout out to old, old radio head, I believe. I know it's old radio for sure, y'all. Um, and that's O-L-E radio. Shout out to him, man. He always sending me um, like emails, um, messaging me, commenting below all the time, man. Um, but uh, he said, uh, you know, he said, keep, basically he said to me, keep your head up and, you know, just basically adapt. And uh, like I said before, man, that's something that um, I've been doing um, for a very, very long time is adapt, ad adapting um, to the changes that come in this industry, man. So you never want to just be stuck um, doing one thing um, when it comes to these cars. Like if you see something change, like for instance, we got the gas prices changing. So what does that mean? I'm not buying SUVs right now. Nobody's coming out and buying these SUVs from me. They're lowballing. So I'm not messing with those. I'm messing with commuters. Um, you know, during the winter, then you know you want to stock up on, on trucks or before the winter, you want to stock up on it. Um, you just want to keep on adapting um, with the industry. That way you can make the most money that you possibly can. Um, and eventually we're going to be adapting more, moving up, you know, moving up the tier with the vehicles and all that. So, um, you know, you guys want to make sure that you're doing that. Uh, make sure you're staying diligent. Make sure you're getting your ass up. Yeah, getting up in the morning. Um, getting out here test driving these cars and uh, you know doing your due diligence man um, but either way it goes man I'm gonna meet you guys at storage I'll show you guys the Buick and what kind of cars we got out there um, and then kind of basically I'm just trying to keep y'all up to date man I'm, I'm tired of y'all yelling at me talking about I ain't telling 
telling y'all everything. So I'm gonna tell y'all as much as I can when I can, man. Let's get it. I'm up, 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 storage man um getting ready to just show y'all what we got going man here's some little eye candy for y'all this stuff is not my these are not none of my cars i actually never even seen the guy that owns these cars um so i don't even know if they just have them dropped off at night or what but um he's got some nice cars out here some expensive stuff um i don't know what they're doing with that man they exporting what they're doing man um but either way it goes man um here we go right here uh we got the trailer man you guys haven't seen my trailer in a while uh this is proof, man, that I actually had a trailer before and I had a truck. I know everybody always asking me, like, why you don't, um, you know, uh, pull your own cars and why you don't got a truck? I did have one. Um, crazy story about this. A lot of y'all remember this story if you've been here for a while. Um, I bought this joint, bought it, drove out, grabbed it, got the electric uh, winch, bought that. This is welded. I had to, drove out to Wisconsin, had it welded on by Chris's dad. Right here was the actual electric winch that was on there. Um, the dude that used to be the body guy out here stole my electric winch off of here um, after it was sitting for a while. Put this brick. I just realized the brick was right here. This is how long that I've been. I haven't even touched this thing. Um, but I did get the electric winch back. The guy that owns it made the dude bring it back. Whatever, whatever. You can see it's on a flat back there. Somebody just been throwing stuff on my on my trailer. It is what it is. Um, but what I decided to do was instead of it taking up a space, um, my uh but one of the new body guys they're gonna buy it i'm selling it to him for 200 dollars um just giving it to him for basically nothing you know what i mean um that way establish a good relationship with him get some better prices going on in the future just giving him a good deal you know um and then i'm gonna end up selling my actual electric winch because i'm not gonna be able to get this off because um it's so um you know it's it's welded on there pretty dang good man this thing ain't going nowhere um so I'm going to sell him that. I'm going to sell it to It's a brand new electric winch, so I'm going to sell it to him uh, for a pretty decent price. Otherwise, if they don't want to buy it, then I'll just end up finding that that one piece right there and getting that done. So um, looks like Tremaine may have finally got here, man. I've been waiting on it. This dude, I swear he 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 moves like, I don't even want to say this on my channel, but he just moves like one of them guys in the hood. You know, you be waiting on them forever, and then they say they five minutes away, and then they 35 minutes away. That's Tremaine all day, man. He supposed to be in here and i'm giving him a ride so uh i'm just waiting on him he's not even here man that wasn't even him somebody else man this is ridiculous anyways man um let me show y'all some other cars man y'all see this back here this is an el camino this is an el camino man i ain't seen one of these in a long long time long long time that ain't mine though so i can't mess with it got an infinity g37x back here and then these are my cars, our cars. So um, Cadillac STS up for sale, of course. Chevy Suburban. I just got that running because I needed to make sure that battery wasn't going to die. I'm tired of talking about Antoine's Pontiac because I don't even know what's going on with that. Impala, they have not got any hits on that joint yet. Um, Tremaine, finally get here. Finally. There you go. Uh, here's Twan's Chrysler Town and Country. Same color as the one I just sold. Then this is the Buick LeSabre that we just got the um brakes and rotors dropped off to my mechanic up in there so he's working on the beamer right now um and this dude always see that's what take you so long man you always on the phone <laughs> this guy man take all day uh but the volkswagen this thing needs timing change so that's what um twan's been waiting on he told me about this the other day so i don't know if he did it did he no it's still on flat he didn't do it yet so um, all right, man. Then that's Twan's Durango right there, y'all. The RT joint 2019. He's still contemplating on selling it, so hopefully one day he gets rid of it. I think he should get the money, uh, but it is a nice truck, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, let's get it, man. Moving and grooving, y'all. It's early in the morning. Getting straight to it, you guys. Um, just giving y'all, like, another update, man. I'm always, On these vlogs, we just, I tend to just keep giving y'all updates, man. I'm giving y'all too much of my life, man. Um, but anyways, man, I just got done meeting with my accountant, you guys. 
Um, he's basically setting me up for success. Um, and I wanted to just drop another gem for you guys, just so you guys don't have to hit certain hurdles. Um, when you guys get into this business, man, make sure that you guys get you an accountant. Find you find and shop for a good business accountant, you guys. Um, that way they can be able to help you keep track of your books, teach you good methods from the beginning, um, and then also save you as much money as possible and set you up for success for whatever you're trying to accomplish. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is you may be trying to buy you a house. You may be trying to get you another business loan. You may be trying to start you another business. You might, you know, it's many things you, you may want to do. Um, you know, and then you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're keeping track of everything the correct way, man. So um, most definitely 100%, man, um, I'm saying that to say it, man. You guys make sure that you guys get you a great accountant, start uh, getting you, or at least get you somebody that's going to be able to do the stuff that you don't want to do. If you're not a numbers guy, if you don't like sitting there entering your stuff into the software for your deals and stuff like that, you need to get you assisted. You need to get you um, people to help you out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you got to pay sometimes to be able to, leave sometime right on uh, your end so you'll be able to do what you actually like doing um, and a lot of you guys like you know selling your cars to other people that are, are watching the channel um, you guys may you know, own your own business or think about owning your own business and it may be different so you just want to you know most definitely as you guys are expanding um, doing what you need to do man um, but that's that man uh, on right now you guys I'm on my way to another auction man I'm on my way to Mannheim I'm um, getting ready to actually get you guys another auction walk around video um, got a couple cars I wanted to check out, so I wanted to most definitely um, get this good content to you guys as well, because you guys already know how this Minnesota weather is. It's hot, it's cold, it's windy, it's not, so um, let's get to it. Y'all, that had to be the worst, the worst, worst, worst. Oh, look, they brought, that's crazy. That's the, um, that's the Lexus from the other auction. Somebody just bought the car and drove it here, man. Get, finna get to the bag. That easy. I gotta step my money up, y'all. That just came from Odessa. That Lexus did. I guarantee you that dude bought that for the dirt, then brought it over here and said, I'm just gonna flip it the next day and make money. Big money. Guaranteed. I gotta step my money up, y'all. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it, man. Either way it goes, y'all. Um, that auction was whack, man. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. That was <sighs> terrible beyond terrible i i found one car out of my whole list everything was a lemon in there um that chevy aveo if y'all watched the video i didn't put it on to the um onto that auction walk around video the chevy aveo from the auction walk around video i've said that um i was gonna get it but i'm not man a motor started tapping after i um once i got closer to parking the car so it was the only thing i ended up putting on my list was the bins man so um that was just terrible man but either way it goes man I don't want to drag this vlog on too long for you guys. I will see you on the next one, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, but I'm out. Peace.